Try this matchup. Low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's. Welcome to the Arizona Wildcats Video Extra, brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. I'm star sports editor Ryan Finley, here with Daniel Burke. Daniel, it is NFL Draft Week. You had a great story in today's paper about two guys just trying to get drafted. That's cornerback Shaquille Richardson and linebacker or safety, kind of depending on where he fits, Marquise Flowers. Uh, you know, with the draft coming up here starting Thursday, where do these guys think they're going to go? Well, I talked to both guys uh, earlier this week, and I think that, you know, they're both being realistic about things. Uh, either could go in the sixth, seventh round, but I think it's more likely that both of them sign uh, free agent contracts right after the draft. Uh, I think they both understand that. And these are two guys whose film is not the greatest, but they really help themselves with a solid pro day uh, at Arizona and then with some workouts for teams because these are both very athletic guys. You start with Richardson, and he's kind of that taller – but um, you know, speedy corner mm -hmm. that teams like the Seahawks have made very popular mm -hmm. in the last couple of years. And so there's a lot to like, and he ran a, a 40 in the four fours, and he's mm -hmm. a speedy guy. And then you have Flowers, who you mentioned, you know, linebacker safety, mm -hmm. uh, one's a four five 40, mm -hmm. and just an athletic guy. He was a four-star recruit out of high school for a reason. Mm -hmm. So I mean, these are two guys who I think pro day helped them more, tape helps them less, kind of the opposite of Kadeem Carey. Mm -hmm. um, but they're being realistic about it, and, and they know anything's possible. When you look at these two guys, how much do you think NFL teams put into production? I mean, obviously these guys look good in a uniform, but can they play? Yeah, I think that I think that's huge. But as we're finding out, mm -hmm. it's so much about potential and what you can do down the line. And mm -hmm. so, I think when teams look at a guy like Shaq Richardson, they say, "Well, you know, with the right coaching, and when we work with his footwork, and when we work with this, and we work with his eye discipline, and work with that, he could be a pretty good player." And mm -hmm. Flowers, man, not too many guys have that type of uh, you know size and speed combination. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's intriguing to teams. So, but at the same time, that they're not going to be third round picks. Right. I mean, because of because of their production. So I think it's a healthy mix of the two. Mm -hmm. As we look, too, at NFL draft prospects, it's interesting to note the last sort of U of A defensive player who you know, was really good in pro day, maybe struggled a little bit in his college career, is still playing in the NFL. Robert Golden is a nickelback slash safety for the Pittsburgh Steelers, playing fairly well at the pro level after being just kind of an afterthought during the draft season. Yeah, I think Golden's a good example of that. And then you look, I mean, Brooks Reed was obviously a second-round pick, and, and Earl Mitchell was a third-round pick, but neither one of those guys were household names. I mean, they, these guys were not All-Americans or anything like that. So it's just it's sneaky, and it's so, so much about what your measurables are and, and, and what you can run. Sure. This is the Arizona Wildcats Video Notebook brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. Ryan Finley here with Daniel Burke. Daniel, looking ahead maybe to this time next year, is Arizona going to have – couple, a handful of NFL prospects? Next year, that, that's really an interesting question because next year is, is kind of weird mm -hmm. when I look at these juniors because you have obviously Austin Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, if he shows that he's healthy and has another good year, mm -hmm. I think he's, he's a guy that mm -hmm. should be a top three or four round pick, I would mm -hmm. think. And then you have the two offensive tackles who are both interesting to me. Uh, you talk about Mickey Backus, Bacchus and, and Fabian Zebley, and I think both of those guys could be draft picks. And then some of the defensive guys, I have no idea. Tremaine Bonneron, is he big enough? Jordan Grandin, is he fast enough? So I don't know. But I, I would think at least three mm -hmm. when we talk about Bacchus, Eberle, and, and Hill, mm -hmm. and then a couple others. But it is, it's interesting to already look ahead to those juniors. Sure. It's, either way, it's going to be an improvement this year on – Arizona last year when the Wildcats were essentially shut out. Yeah, and I think it was, you know, I think you were probably the only person in Tucson who didn't think Matt Scott was going to get drafted last year. And uh, that was an impressive call because everyone else thought he was, and some people had him inside in the third round, and then he doesn't get picked. He sides with the Jaguars and isn't on the active roster once last week. So it was a weird year last year, but one way or the other, you know, Kadeem Carey is going to get picked this year, so that, that one-year hiatus is going to end. Absolutely. Speaking of Kadeem Carey, join us tomorrow. We're going to talk about where Kadeem might go what sort of system is a good fit for him, and what hat he'll be wearing when he's finally drafted at some point this weekend. This is the Arizona Wildcats Video Notebook brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. For Daniel Burke, I'm Ryan Finley saying see you tomorrow.